Hey there guys, it's Kage Tact coming at you for Season 3, Day 1 of Guild Wars. Essentially, what's changed is... I, I, I don't know about this token thing. I like it. Don't get me wrong, I like being able to see here that my opponent's got 167 tokens left with less than two hours to go and we've got, you know, 55. At the same time, I kind of feel like I had made a comment on the Discord when, when the match started. Wow, these guys are really boned. They've already used like 30 tokens and they're, they have no way to be on track with us to win. So, I, I don't know if they realized they were just boned from the start and there was lack of effort or if if that's how their guild is. So, let's take a look at their guild. Let's, let's look here. And again, yeah, this is Battlefield 1. People are like... Well, you have 30 people and this and that. You shouldn't be in Battlefield 1. And I hate you. I hate all of you. Because the guild we're fighting has 30 people. They started off with three, 300 tokens. They've got a bunch of level 50s. Let's look at their activity, maybe. It's weird. They don't even have any description in their guild. I mean, they've got more higher-powered guns than us. And in terms of activity, like, just looking through the list, well, this guy hasn't logged in a day. Oh, this guy hasn't logged in in three days. Did he just register and then just peace out? Hmm. I'm trying to make sense of this. This guy hasn't logged in in four days. Okay, so they have some inactives here, even though they everybody did register. So they do have some inactives. Which, let's let's take 20 tokens out of that equation. Two people here, obviously, aren't going to do their fights. So, even taking 20 off the table, that's still 147. They just, I don't know, they did not put much of a dent in. It doesn't feel like anything else has changed. I mean, the, the guardsmen still feel about the same. I don't, I don't think there was any buffs or further nerfs to them. So the troop garrisons aren't really that, I don't know, in my opinion, that great right now. Uh, there's no other new buildings. So yeah, for the most part, the only real things were kind of like how the the team building was set up. They, they made some changes to how to, you know, edit teams, look at them in terms of the visuals. And of course, the, the enemy token count, which... Again, I don't know if that demoralized them day one. Because they did register with 30 people. But they they had just been trailing behind in terms of uh, points per token. So. And this isn't, again, this isn't like a slouch guild, though. I mean, they're... They're, they're rank 500-ish in, in guild raids. And we're like 265. So, I mean... It's not a super world of difference. It's just... I guess they don't have any way outside of the game to communicate, which puts them at a disadvantage, and... I, I don't know. I mean, I, I originally thought these guys were going to be a bit tougher because... I mean, our highest levels are 49. We don't have anybody in the 50s, but... That's the nice thing about Battlefield 1, though. We don't have to worry about fighting somebody with a full D3 team. You know, even if they do have a lot of units at their disposal, there's only so much a couple of people can do in that regard. So, I don't know. I mean, I would like for the actual stats to come through, though. This, this war status stuff. I just don't see... I just don't see that happening right now. I mean, I would love to know all this extra information here. I'm not exactly sure when we're going to see that, when that's going to happen, but that's that would be very useful to know which of my guys are just, you know, maybe having trouble utilizing tokens. Because again, 55 here, that, that tells me that at least I want to say 15 tokens that could have been used aren't being because we end at like 30 or less, so. The, I, I guess, though, there was, there's one other factor here that kind of, you know, maybe 
doesn't excuse the other team's lack of utilizing most of their tokens or even mine, but I do know that the war technically started a couple hours late due to a bug with not participating. There was some some stuff at the start, so people lost a couple of hours there. But again, I mean that's like you know the war goes on for over a day, so I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Oh. We do have a timer for the battles now as well when fighting in matches. You can actually actively see how much time you have. I do like that addition. I like that a lot. I know some of this stuff is probably in patch notes and other things. This is me we're talking about here. The likelihood of getting me to read a long extensive patch note outside of a few snippets here and there very, very unlikely. You, you know, I, I won't really pick apart a whole thing unless there's like some sort of major update so yeah I mean as it stands this war there's not really anything new in terms of actual buildings or we, we still have the same amount of buildings come to think of it since there is more buildings diversity it would be nice to be able to pick some of the core buildings you'd like to use instead of everybody having the same buildings to work with, which that could make some more maybe diversity or strategy for the mode, you know, but because you could have maybe an extra artillery or you can sacrifice a troop garrison for something else. I don't know, maybe maybe add a little bit more diversity to, to the maps instead of just having the same buildings for everybody. I, I see where it could have its drawbacks, mind you. Some people can make some pretty killer combos, but at the same time, that would, I don't know, that would, that would add an extra layer to things. I, I would like to see something like that, actually, in, in terms of the mode. But again, I, I would understand why maybe they couldn't. And then also, I, I'm going to preach this again, there needs to be an extra battlefield or... A slight tweak of the regulations for Battlefield 2. I think the cap should be like Diamond 1 for BF2. Something. Some, something would be nice there. Because again, we even tested it to see if anybody, you know, could could actually max out the, the requirements in our guild where we were at for Battlefield 2. And it's like, uh, we're still like a month or two off before we could even do that. And and Max, I use that term loosely because that's just people who have some diamond units. That's not people who have full D3 teams. I know people are like, well, you know, you can't, you can't max out, you know, your defenses and everything. Well, if I can't max out defenses on Battlefield 2, that's, that's a little weird. I, I don't know. I feel like 2 should should be relatively not not as easy as Battlefield 1 to max out, but relatively easy to, to get done as the second tier in a five tier system. But hey, that's that's just me. I, I, I don't know. So again, I feel like Battlefield 2 either needs to be reevaluated or they need to add another tier in and, and do some things there because again, you're going from gold gold tier units in Battlefield 1 to Diamond 3 potentially in in Battlefield 2 which if, if people don't have the ability to counter that I mean I, I've seen seen this where like people are like well Kage we just go around it well that's okay that that's a solution but how, how many of those do you have to go around and when are you going to be in a situation where you can't go around any of them? It's like you you know, you know get checkmated in a fight before the fight's even even really started. So I, I don't know. I, I'm hoping as they make these changes and they take the feedback they got from the surveys that we'll, we'll see some vast improvements down the road. Rata has said that it is going to take some time for for these things to be to be done we'll we'll see what happens there but 
Anyway, day one, season three. We wiped these guys out. Minimal, minimal effort. But again, this isn't like some slouch guild by any stretch of the imagination. They're, they're in the top 500 of raids. They just don't have the communication or the the enforcement to get rid of people who don't log in for four days. Like, homeboys are literally registering for war, not logging in at all, and then just leaving people to to pick up the slack. Would, would those two people for this person's guild have made a difference in this fight? No, pro probably not from, you know, an overall standpoint, even if they rallied together. But I think the fight wouldn't have been over as quickly for him. That's just me. But anyway, what are your guys' thoughts on on this mode? I know some people are starting to have some burnout from it. Maybe that plays into the, the lack of tokens as well. It will be interesting to see how many guilds we fight this season that actually utilize all their tokens. And it will also be interesting to see if when we do, let's say, our next match, if they only have 29, if it's going to show up as a max of 290 or... Is it going to show 300 just to kind of that that's at a default? So we'll we'll see what what things bring. But otherwise, yeah, I'm not not moving out of Battlefield Level One. I know I know some of you that really chapped your ass, but uh, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Maybe do it in a month or two from now when people hit some requirements. But I personally, with with how we play and how we organize. We are going to hit some very strong opponents if we go to Battlefield 2. We're in for a bad time. <laughs> that's, that's just how it is. Anywho, peace.